Today, I am going to explain a computer animated fantasy movie called Ainbo, which was released in 2021. At the beginning of the movie, we see a forest in the Kandamo, where we see a girl whose name is Ainbo, who wanted to be a very good hunter, but he didn't know things so perfectly, and that's why she gets trapped in her own trap. On the other hand, there was a chief of this whole tribe, whose daughter's name was Zumi, and who was Ainbo's best friend. Here Zumi is told that very soon you have to become the chief of the tribe, and you have to take care of all these things. Here we see that a man whose name was Atok reaches Ainbo, and instead of getting her out, he lets her stay trapped. And along with this, he also says that today is Zumi's crown ceremony which you will not be able to reach. Here Zumi waits for her friend Ainbo a lot, but Ainbo still cannot reach it because she was trapped in the forest. When Ainbo was trying to escape, then she sees two spirits. Those spirits were of animals, and she could also speak with them. That is, it was a guardian spiritual spirit. Seeing this, Ainbo does not believe at first, but when these animals whose name was Waka and Ahelo help Ainbo, then Ainbo believes. She tells Waika and Diallo to come with me, so that I can introduce you to everyone. Here Zumi's crown ceremony was going on, and Zumi was very upset that her best friend Ainbo is not able to reach her ceremony. When Ainbo reaches the ceremony, then first of all, the Atak thinks about how she escaped. Along with this, Ainbo also says that I have brought a wonderful gift for you. She tells everyone that I have brought a guardian spirit with me. But Waka and Diallo cannot come, because there was a problem in the forest with them. Because of this, everyone standing around laughs at Ainbo. Because of this, Ainbo feels very bad that no one believes her. And she comes back to the forest crying. She liked sitting under a tree. And then Waka and Diallo also come here. Who apologizes to Ainbo? Here, there is a conversation between these people that there is a curse on this forest. The curse of Yakurana. Because of this, everyone is dying slowly. She says she will remove this curse by herself. She reaches Zumi for help, but Zumi refuses to believe these things. Ainbo was an orphan child, which was raised by a lady named Juni. She tells Ainbo that you look exactly like her mother, whose name was Lizni. Juni says that I believe in the guardian spirit, and there are many things about Lizni that you have to know. I will tell you all these things tomorrow morning. Ainbo sleeps thinking about this, but a snake was listening to all this. The next morning, Ainbo wakes up and first reaches Zumi, and she says that today, Juni is going to tell us about my mom. How is my mom? And how can the curse of the forest break with this? Even though Zumi does not want to go, she goes after Ainbo. But when these two reach Juni, they see that Juni is no longer alive, and there is a reason behind all this. Ainbo has cursed this forest. If she leaves this place, everything will be fine. Ainbo feels very bad hearing this. Zuma also scolds Atok for saying all this. Atok says that I will go into the forest and bring Ainbo and kill her. So Zumi says now I am the leader of this place, so I order you not to do anything like that. But Atok still does not listen to Zumi and goes to the forest to find Ainbo. Ainbo was told by Juni that she will have to meet Motello Mama to break the curse of this forest. She will tell her everything in the future. Here Ainbo reaches the tree where she finds a small turtle. With this turtle, she thinks that maybe all these indications are to reach Motello Mama. She now goes out to meet Motello Mama alone, where she feels a little hungry in the middle of the forest. When she reaches a tree to break a fruit, she sees some bats and those bats fly her with them. But Ainbo is saved by Vaka and Diallo, and both of them are ready to go with Ainbo. Ainbo first cries a lot after meeting Vaka and Diallo, because Juni is no longer in this world. That's why Vaka and Diallo explain to Ainbo that she will have to say goodbye to them now. Zumi was now sitting with the chief and tells him that Atak did not listen to her at all. I had also stopped going after Ainbo in the Sing Forest. So the chief says that now you are the new leader here. You take two warriors with you and bring a talk back with you. Here Zumi goes out to find Ainbo. Now we see Voka and Dialo teaching Ainbo to shoot arrows, because Ainbo still did not know how to shoot an arrow properly. And now she did not have many arrows left with her. Then Dialo takes out an arrow and gives it to Ainbo. 
and says that it will be useful in the future. Then they reach a waterfall. On the other side of the waterfall, there was a ban on everyone from going there, because Yakurana lived here. Yakurana was an evil spirit. When Ainbo reaches the other side of the river, she sees a city of humans, and along with it, there are many machines that had come to do mining in this forest. Along with this, a scientist who works there also sees Ainbo, and he had almost hypnotized her, but Vaka and Diallo come and save Ainbo. These three run far away to save their lives, because Yakurana was also behind these people. These three have no option left but to jump into the water. And now they jump into the water, where Etok takes Ainbo with him and ties a bandage on his eye and ties her hands. Because this city scientist had already met Etok, but Ainbo somehow escapes from Etok. But as soon as she runs, there is some chaos in the forest, which causes a big rift in the ground, and she falls into the deep water. But small turtles bring her up. That place was very beautiful and unique to see, and Ainbo had never seen such a place before. After which Ainbo now finds Motella Mama there. Ainbo tells her that Juni is dead. And with this, Motella Mama tells Ainbo that you look exactly like your mother. Ainbo says that everyone knows about my mother except me. You should help us. Everyone is dying slowly in the forest. Motella Mama tells Ainbo that she can't do this. But you have been chosen for this. You have to go far away, where that volcano is. There you will find a big slot, which is a very big giant creature, from where you have to take a moonstone. After which Ainbo says that I talk freely. It reminds me of my mom. And with this, I think that her spirit is in that tree. So Motello Mama tells Ainbo that she will take the moonstone and cut the tree. Here, on the other hand, Ainbo now goes alone to climb that big volcano. But on the way, she gets so tired that she falls there. That's when she finds Waka and Diallo again, who help her this time too, and say that if you want to meet that giant creature, you have to take some gift for it. Otherwise, it will never give you the moonstone. If possible, you can take this whole tree with you, where Waka and Diallo tie that tree to a cart. And now, Ainbo also reaches the big volcano pushing it. But on way, they lose balance and the cart comes down. These poor people have to work hard again and they reach the top of this volcano. Here Zumi reaches the forest to find Ainbo and Atok, where Zumi meets Atok along with that scientist. This scientist tells Zumi that I have a lot of medicine. There is no curse on your forest, but it is just a disease. If you use these medicines, everyone will be fine. In return, just tell me where will I get the gold that you have worn on your neck. So Zumi says first, you treat my father. After that, I will also tell you where you will get the gold. On the other hand, Ainbo, Waka, and Dalo also reach the slot. And they tell them that we have brought a very good gift for you. This big tree is just for you. The slot is also happy with them and gives them the moonstone. But Ainbo thinks that this moonstone will not work. Then the slot turns that moonstone into a knife and gives it to Ainbo. And then the volcano starts to burst here. These three run away, saving their lives. And with this, they also take his flying fan from the slot. These three were about to jump from there. But Waka says that I have a lot of weight, and that will break the fan. It's better if you both go, I'll meet you down. Ainbo and Dalo sit on the same fan and go down, where Waka was running down on foot saving his life. And now these three meet at one place. Ainbo had a moonstone in her hand. Then they see Zumi there. They were very happy to meet each other, and says that we never thought that we would be able to meet again. Zumi says that my father's health has started to get better. Scientists have given us good medicines. You should go there and see. Ainbo also goes behind Zumi to her house, where she meets Otok and the same scientist. Ainbo says that this scientist is a liar. He is going to ruin our whole forest, and Yakurana is also with him. So Zumi gets angry with this and scolds Ainbo that you are lying. This person is a very good person. That's why Ainbo runs away from there to her house. Then the scientist follows Ainbo and reaches her house, but somehow Ainbo saves her life and leaves from there. This is what Atok sees. And when Atok reaches near the scientist, then this scientist grabs Atok's neck and lifts him up. Then Atok understands that Ainbo was right. This scientist is not Yakurana, 
but an evil spirit. Here Vauka and Dela were with Ainbo, and then Atok comes to them and tells them to help them, but it was too late by then. Yakurana had done her magic on Zumi and Sheaf. Ainbo had a moonstone with her, which she puts inside the tree, but nothing happens. That's why Ainbo starts crying here, as her tears fall on this tree. Then the magic begins here, and the spirit who comes out there was Ainbo's mother. They both meet each other, and Ainbo tells her mother that Yakarana's spirit is destroying everything. Then Ainbo's mother gives Ainbo the same arrow, and says that he will help you. Ainbo's mother reaches there to stop those people, who were about to reach the forest with big mining machine. Meanwhile, Ainbo, Vaka, Dela, and Etok reach Zuma and Chief, where they see that Yakurana has done her magic on all these people. And now Liz also reaches here, who calls the scientist by his name. Here they find out that Liz had brought Will to the forest with her a long time back. But Etok didn't like this at all. That's why he told everyone that Will had done magic on Liz. That's why they both died. And that's why Etok didn't like Ainbo at all. Liz was saved by the spirit of this forest, but Yakarana's spirit came on well, after which the scientist turned into evil. Here Yakarana picks up Zumi and takes her with him. Here Liz motivates her daughter Ainbo that you have to defeat Yakarana, because only you can do this. After which Ainbo targets Yakarana and shoots an arrow. Because of this, Yakarana is finished forever and both the scientist and Will leave, but Zumi was still hanging on top, after which it was time for Liz and Will to go, who were Ainbo's mom and dad. Ainbo hugs them and says goodbye, where both the guardian spirits go back into the same tree, and once again Zumi and Ainbo become friends. And with this, Waka and Yellow also start living with them, and movie ends here.